Well, providing affordable, quality food year-round in the heart of Green Bay is actually a retail challenge, but the New Leaf Market Cooperative is on the verge of changing that, although there is still a lot of work that needs to be done. Fox 11's Bill Miston brings us new details in the food co-op effort. This, the city of Green Bay, according to the USDA, is a desert, food desert that is, meaning a large amount of residents in a low income area have limited access to supermarkets or grocery stores. We would like to turn the downtown food desert into a healthy food destination for Brown County and Northeast Wisconsin. New Leaf Market Cooperative Board President Lynn Walters says since starting as an idea in 2008, the winter farmers markets over the past three years have helped show the viability of a year-round store and grow its membership. It now has 600 plus member owners. We think we have enough at this point, but more, the more people who join, the sooner they join, the sooner we have the store open. Walter says visibility, size, affordability, and parking are major site hurdles. But once a site is chosen, a capital campaign will start. Walter says an exact location of the co-op isn't known yet, but both sides of the river will be taken into consideration. Downtown redevelopment leaders say with New Leaf on the cusp of choosing the co-op site, and recent residential developments in the downtown, the pieces are falling into place. Downtown progress is, uh, it's a progression. Jeff Merkus is the executive director of Downtown Green Bay Incorporated. He says last week's decision by the Green Bay Redevelopment Authority Committee approving three proposals to build, renovate, or plan new residential options on both sides of the river and new leaf close to finding a permanent home shows confidence in the downtown is growing. Schreiber building a $50 million corporate headquarters by Associated Bank moving 500 professionals to the downtown and then numerous other professional organizations are saying, it's our time, now we want to be downtown. That's sending a pretty powerful message. Which Walter says is a win-win for the city and the co-op. In Green Bay, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. The total cost of the co-op project is about $6 million. Some of that will go to the co-op's education and charitable wing. Walters says the hope is the market could open within a year once a site is selected.